Hello everybody, this is uh, Cap Cole Blunt, and welcome to our very first episode of a series I'm starting called First Impressions. First Impressions is a little bit of uh, explanation, is when I decide to uh, go and play a video game, mainly video games, uh, after the first uh, hour or two, I sit down, I discuss what I like, what I didn't like, uh, and generally give you a good feel for the game uh, so that I don't give you any spoilers, and uh, this is usually helpful if you're looking at a game and you're interested in buying it, or if it has any prequels, whether or not uh, it still stands up over time. Uh, what game we'll be discussing today is Dead Space 2 by EA and Visceral Games. Now, Dead Space 2 is made in 2011, three years after the original Dead Space. Uh, what I am going to say is that Dead Space 2 is an upgrade in some ways. Uh, the gameplay mechanics, first of all, the gameplay mechanics are still solid. The plasma cutter is awesome. I have to do. I do have to say, however, your uh, your kinesis module has been weaponized. You can use it to grab uh, sharp objects and impale necromorphs to walls. That's a very very fun feature. Before you even get your first plasma cutter, you're already impaling necromorphs, even though they're absolutely everywhere, and it's very difficult to survive, even on the easiest difficulties uh, in the first uh, segment of the game, if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, something else I do have to say is that uh, when you are playing the game, uh, the graphics are noticeably enhanced. Uh, they, they are much better than they were in 2008. The lighting is much better. Uh, personally, if you if you play Dead Space, you know a big part of the game was the atmosphere of the game. While the atmosphere is vamped up to 11 in this game, uh, you are you are very afraid. Even if you've played the first Dead Space, you never know what's going to happen. But like I said, if you have played the first Dead Space, then you kind of get the gist, you know what's going on, you're not really that afraid of the necromorph, so that unfortunately cuts down on a lot of the atmosphere, because in the first game, in the first three or four chapters, I mean, if you were me, you had your gun pointed as you walked around every corner with your barely functional flashlight, but now there are lights everywhere, uh, the bodies are easily smashed, your melee attacks have been significantly upgraded, now you can actually kill necromorphs a lot easier, and you hit them every half second it seems. You actually are pretty much a boxer. Uh, really, there are a few uh, noticeable downgrades. First off, the whole uh, premise of the first Dead Space game is that Isaac never said a word. Isaac Clark, your character, never said a word, and that he never took off his helmet either, except at the beginning of the game and right at the end. So that added to the atmosphere, that added to the to the uh, immersion of your character. Really, it, it really helped with feeling like you were alone. Even with Hammond and Kendra uh, and Dr. Kine there, it, it really, really helped you feel isolated. It felt like you were doing this and not like Isaac Clark. Uh, that, unfortunately, is completely shattered in Dead Space 2. First off, Isaac is seen without his helmet. He's given a lot of voice actor work. In the first hour, he said a ton of lines, uh, probably as much as someone like Kendra got in the first game, uh, within the first hour. It's just a... a it's strange. You run around without your helmet for the first good 30 to 40 minutes of the game. It's disconcerting almost to to see your character like this. And it's not even your character anymore. In the first Dead Space, you were going through the Ishimura station. Now you're following Isaac Clarke on one of the moons of Titan. Uh, on, on the moon of Titan, one of the moons of Saturn, which I think is a really cool setting. Um... But it, it, it just shatters the complete immersion. You're, you're running around as Isaac Clark. You are not running around this station. And he's talking all the time. You're, you're constantly in communication. I feel personally that was a terrible choice. Uh, the game's immersion and, and feeling of ambiance was, was perfectly uh, personified by uh, just them talking to you and telling you what you had to do in the first game. They did not need to add Isaac Clarke's voice actor. They did not need to add his face uh, for any extended period of time. You get the engineering rig about 30 minutes in, so it, you can at least cover up. But he still talks, which I, I find very annoying. And then the, uh, the other uh, negative thing is dialogue. F I have two points on that. First off, there's way too much dialogue. You're talking all the time. You find other survivors, which is fine. In the first Dead Space, you'd find a survivor, they'd die within the next few seconds, or they'd actually be an appropriate character for the game. Now, in the first hour, I've only run into a few characters, uh, you know, Patient 5, uh, I can't remember his name at the moment, uh, you run into a few oddball characters who help you out and then die. Uh, you've got uh, all of these different people, all this dialogue. You're constantly talking. It's just talking and talking and talking and talking. You're not even playing a video game. You're listening to an interactive story, it feels like. Uh, in the first game, there was rarely any talking. You find a text log or an audio log, and that was pretty much it. But in this game, it's just so much talking. It takes you out of the moment. You are not trying to survive. You're having a casual conversation while blasting your way through necromorphs. It's, it's, 
it, it, the immersion has been completely shattered for me in Dead Space 2. Not to say that I dislike the game, it's just I'm still feeling it, I'm still trying it out, I don't know what I expect, I heard Dead Space 2 is an upgrade, I really hope that I like it, but this is usually how I am with sequels, I'm really skeptical, but I want desperately to enjoy it. So don't think that I hate Dead Space 2 because of this, I, I just, I, I need to adjust to the new game. It has been, it was three years between Dead Space's original release in 2008 and then 2011 Dead Space 2, so I just have to get used to the system. And if you've played the original Dead Space, then you're going to have to take some, uh, it's going to take some time for you to get used to it as well. Especially if you jump from the first game directly into the second game a week later, which is what I did. And then the very last thing I will say about the game, uh, on a negative standpoint, is the amount of language. Now, I know language may not be important to a lot of people, of course language. It's rated M for mature blood gore, intense violence, and strong language. The first game had a very rare uses of the F word and occasional uses of SH. Now, I'm not going to say those because I don't need that on my channel. I don't, I just don't need to say it. It's not necessary. You understand what I'm saying. In this Dead Space, in the first 40 minutes of Dead Space 2, I've heard the F word at least nine times. I've counted nine times. And four of them were right in succession. And SH, I've heard like 15. It, 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 the amount of dialogue has increased, and therefore the need to be vulgar, apparently, has vastly increased. There's way too much language. So, I, like I said before, some of you may not care. Some of you may think it's more realistic for language to happen. I certainly don't mind it too much until it gets to an excessive point. Uh, and uh, the thing I will say is, if you are not living alone, if you live with like a family with young children, or you, you live with siblings... Uh, or somebody who's adverse to this kind of stuff, you, you would pretty much have to wait until they're either not in the room or you'd have to wait until they're all out or in bed before you decide to load up Dead Space 2 because it is excessive to the point where I'm holding my game controller with my remote right next to me because I have a family and uh, I'd rather not them have to hear that stuff, especially on that level. Uh, when they could be uh, anywhere in the house. So if, you, if that is a standard for you, you have to be careful with Dead Space 2. I would say... Uh, there's no way to censor it. There's no way to turn off the language. You can turn off the subtitles, but that just makes it worse because they start speaking and you can't tell when it's coming. So, uh, really, my initial thoughts on Dead Space 2, I'm skeptical. I don't know yet. Uh, I, I don't like a lot of it. Uh, the mechanics are the same. They're still solid. They're upgrades to the actual combat system. I do like that. Uh, and the graphics are a lot better. But honestly, the immersion needs to get better. There needs to be less dialogue. There, there can still be story development. It's just too, too much at once. They're, they're shoving all that they can on you. It feels like you're meeting too many new characters at once. I mean, in the first Dead Space, you knew a total of three characters by name. Maybe four if you count Dr. Kallus Mercer. But it... It, it, it doesn't work. It's not working so far, and I've played the first hour. I'm hoping it's going to get better. I'm praying it's going to get better, and I'm going to play the game to its fullest. Whether I feel like I enjoy it or not, I'm certain I will at the end of it. So thank you guys very much for watching First Impressions, and I will see you next time.